Okay, now not only are potatoes cheap as chips, get it? Cheap as chips, but they are also really easy to grow, apparently. And so my mate Robin is here to show us how to do it. Robin, mate, welcome to the show. Thanks, Charlie. So what do we do first? Okay, first thing you do is just get an ordinary old bucket. Yep. And get a small nail. And we want to put some holes in the whoops, bottom of the bucket. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Maybe you get your mum and dad to help with that part. Definitely, it's a bit fiddly, eh? It is a bit. Um, that's so we've got some drainage because the potatoes don't want to get too wet. If you happen to overwater them, we want the water to be able to go out the bottom of the container. Too right. Then we want to get a bucket and about third to half fill it with some nice topsoil out of the garden. Yep. And then you preferably want to get a pre-sprouted potato. Now I haven't got a good example here, but that's the eye end of the potato. And if you leave that on the windowsill or in the pantry where it's nice and warm, it'll start to develop a sprout. And when it's about 10 to 15 mils in height, let's get that potato. Sit it awesome. In the, Sort of I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my potato saurus, okay? It's got some sprouts on it, so I'll put it in there. Yeah, that's a beauty. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then just put it in the in the middle of the bucket yep. with, with the sprouts facing up. Be a, be a good head start. And then just put enough soil over the top of the potato. Uh, oh, that's the oh. stuff. No worries at all. Until the potatoes has got about 10 to 15 mils of soil over the top. So it's just covering it, so, right? So it's just covering it. So you can see I've got it there, and you just scrape that back and you see the potatoes just under there. And there's my potato. Hi, potato saurus. Wicked. And now what? Um, the soil the soil only wants to be damp, so it's not going to need much water at all until it starts growing. And it wants to be in a nice warm spot. They like to be about 10 to 15 degrees. So can you grow them inside? Yes, inside's the best place with it being winter. Especially um, when, it, when it's snowing out, eh? Oh, especially yeah. like at the moment. And, and the tops are very frost tender, so it's important to keep them inside at night and even, even leave them inside for the whole time they're growing. Cool. Because mm. they like, like the sun and they like the warm. Now the important thing is, is how long do I have to wait before I can eat my very own potatoes that I've grown with my, with my bare hands? Well, I think 60 to 70 days if you look 60. after them and talk to them nicely. Talk to them nicely. I might actually talk to mine as well. Um, so 60 to 70 days and then you'll be ready to eat your own potatoes. Yes. Matey, thank you so much for, welcome, for doing that. And if you guys want to make um, some potatoes, well, grow some potatoes of your very own, you can go to the What Now website. We've got all the instructions right there. But for now, Robin, thank you so much for coming in. I'm going to look after my spuddy right now and see how well he grows.